So here we have 2000 Toyota MR2 Spider Barchetta. And it's a work in progress. As you guys can probably see, the roll cage is just kind of mocked in there just to kind of like we were weighing it the other day and I figured I'd, I'd uh, just see what some tube in there looked like and weighed like. Uh, but by no means is that something we're gonna take on track yet. We're gonna, we're gonna actually fab up a whole cage for it. So uh, just the beginning stages of it. But we've, uh, we've done the cut and uh, just put some new coilovers on it. And uh, it sits pretty good, I think. These are KW Variant 3s um, that we just corner weighted and set up. Hopefully the ride height's not too low. We're gonna see how it, uh, how it drives with this, uh, this ride height, but kind of walk around. So we did a uh, little bit different thing on, for a front lip, and that's, you know, just like everything else, kind of in a uh, um, intermediate phase where we're still working on getting fitment perfect. This is a charge speed uh, EK Civic um, front lip, and I had to modify it pretty extensively, but we're getting close. It's a little little kind of up in the middle. You guys can see there's a little bit, little bit of a wavy area, so we've got to get that um, taped down and situated a little better and then we're going to do a little carbon splitter underneath it that's functional send a uh, cardboard template off to ARP or yeah, APR, sorry um, but this is the overall kind of gist of it and uh, it's getting close we're going to set it up so we can pin the windshield back on so we can go get stickers and stuff I'm going to try and uh, drive this car on the street periodically so I think that'd be cool and so we'll uh, we'll set up the uh, the factory windshield frame has a uh, has a roll bar inside it as you can see these uh, this tube here and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna sleeve that and then pin it through with a uh, threaded um, fastener so it'll be bolted in the, the sleeve will be bolted in so it can't leave and then similarly pinned into the uh, windshield frame and then the, the glass will be bonded on to three size top top and both the sides so we can slide it back down there and then pin it in place and uh, hopefully we'll be able to drive it around won't be i wouldn't want to roll it over or anything but i wouldn't want to roll it over anyway um so um so at least that'll let us let us kind of get it back on the road and allow us to use it um got a little spoiler on the back this is the ings plus one uh, Scion FRS DRZ GT86 setup. Um, fits kind of good. Um, there isn't a whole lot of stuff that, I re that really spoke to me for the uh, for the Spider chassis, the ZZW30 chassis. Um, but I kind of liked this and I figured I'd take a chance on it. it seemed like it was cool construction, little 3D carbon thing. Um, so hopefully it works. You get a uh, 2ZZ GE swap with a C66 speed, TRD LSD, and we're in the middle of fabbing up our the final aspects of our turbo setup. Um, Tomy Arms uh, 7660, I think it is. It's, a, it's half of our R34 Tomy kit um, that I got a good deal on. So kind of interesting. You got a switched over to return fuel line with a uh, monkey wrench racing setup, 700 cc uh, Teach Works injectors. Intercooler down there. A little Shore Eye battery with a mount for an NSX. It works actually really slick. I wish, uh, wish the company that made that still made it. I'd buy another one. Um, so that's, you know, coming along. Interior's got some more work we've got to do to it. Um, but pretty raw, pretty Spartan. And uh, I'm going to make a little support for the center of the dash. Dash is coming out this week. I got my Flocken kit uh, from Flocket. So we'll be doing that. And uh, these door cards are fabbed up in aluminum. I'm going to use those to make a puck for a mold to make carbon ones. So that should be nice little we'll carbon door cards. We're going to swap these seats out. I kind of hate these seats um, just in terms of the, they're, they're finely constructed. That's fine. But what I, I hate about them is they're very, very narrow in the shoulders uh, for me. And so they're, uh, they're quite uncomfortable for me. So we're going to switch those out for some delays. I think I'm saying that right, delay. Uh, I'm a little bit of wiring to tidy up there, but we'll get an Apex Power, RF, Power FC and uh, stuff like that. We'll uh, done a pretty extensive amount of weight reduction to this car, and as you can see, obviously. The Seabon hood, which for an aftermarket one, fits pretty nice. Everything's all Swiss cheesed up. Um, Cusco bars front and rear. 
and uh, TRD. Uh, braces, front and rear, top, bottom. See the one down there. And uh, depowered rack. A little, just a little carbon placeholder for for where the uh, power steering pump used to be. It's, it doesn't do anything. It's not structural. Just I just thought it was cute. Um, but we got to finish up this this uh, this frunk a little bit. Get all those all those holes dimple dyed and then uh, and paint it up so it's all nice. A little carbon block off for the where the yeah, windshield wiper motor used to be and we'll do a similar one for when the AC when we take the dashboard out we'll take the AC out <clears throat> every other aspect of the AC is out but the actual evaporator core is still in there so that's got to go and uh, so it's just coming along um, got kind of an interesting thing happening this week with uh, with fasteners We've got a bunch of bolts coming from ProBolt and so that'll be cool I'm going to switch over to some aluminum fasteners where they're non- structural and kind of not what i determined it to be non-essential so like little stuff holding the dashboard together and holding the bodywork on and stuff like that uh, we're going to switch over to pro bolt stuff which is aluminum and it's drilled and it's all hollywood looking and uh on the more essential stuff we're going to do tie um i'd like to get this thing way in someplace 17 something um, but we'll see how that goes uh last time i waited it was 1859 and so we're getting closer. We've got some more stuff we can do. Um, but, you know, just a work in progress. You know, there's obviously lots of unfinished stuff, and we're going to try and try and really get it so that it's it's tidy and it's got all these little bits and bobs that are really done done nicely. But, um, you know, for the, for the meantime, this is where we're at, and um, a bunch of stuff's going to come together. So I'm excited to get, get behind the wheel of it and uh, feel that 2ZZ with that little that little uh, amount of weight to drag around and uh really I'm, I'm not you know i hope it's fast obviously everybody everyone wants their project car to be really fast and you know hope it does tens and whatever else but um what i really hope is that this car is engaging and amazing to drive and makes me feel things um because like i don't know i drive supercars and sports cars and crazy stuff all the time and i feel like a lot of it's kind of soulless and disconnected and um I just wanted something that spoke to me and that, that I could take out and really feel like was a uh, an experience. Uh, really enjoy motorcycles, and I think that that's kind of what we're going for here is a motorcycle you can have a conversation with somebody next to you. And, um, so, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, we'll get to see it on track. Maybe a track impression this year. Um, see if uh, see if it works out good. Who knows? Maybe we'll fall apart and catch on fire. Who cares? That's kind of part of the uh, part of the adventure. We'll see. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon.